If you're anything like me, using the router table is almost second nature. I turn to it for all sorts of operations. But there are a couple of operations that can be a little bit more tricky than others. One of those is when you need to route across the end grain of a workpiece, like if you're doing cope and stick joinery, or here where I want to cut a tenon on the end of my piece. Here's where the problem lies. When you're going across the end grain like that, a narrow workpiece like this can real easily rock and tip and throw off the consistency of your cuts. Another thing that you can run into is as the bit exits the workpiece, you can get some chip out on that back corner, which can spoil the whole look of the piece. Well, Hermie Talerba of Sugarland, Texas, came up with a pretty nifty solution. It's a, this accessory that goes with the router table. And there's a lot of things to like about it. The first is that the piece is supported and kept square with this sacrificial backer strip that's screwed to the main part of the accessory. A couple of slots on the front mean that I can clamp the workpiece in place so it's not going to shift about in the middle of a cut. Another thing that I like about it is that there's a wide handle on the back that keeps my hands well away from the bit while I'm making that cut. So it adds a little bit of safety. The other thing is, is that this backer board right here is going to support the fibers on the workpiece and stop tear out in its tracks. So it's a two-in-one solution that you can probably make with some plywood scraps that you have laying around. Thanks, Hermie. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tip, subscribe to the Woodsmith Shop channel. Every week we're adding new tips and great woodworking videos. So hit the bell to be notified. Plus, you'll find project plans and downloads in the description below.